Hey gang, what's going on? I know you saw me a little while ago, but I have some news for you. Yankees news, and it just broke out, so I want to get it to you. It's not incoming news, it's outgoing news, but you know, I said I would get you news one way or another. So, if you're new here, and you like Yankees news, and you want all different types, this is a great place for you, so subscribe to the channel, please. It's not only helpful to the channel, it's greatly appreciated, but I don't want you missing out on, on good info. For my regulars, you are the best, the absolute best in the world. So with that, the Yankees have released Ender Inciarte, who's an outfielder who's... You know, he had experience with the Atlanta Braves, um, and I think in, in Indians as well, but he was playoff tested as well. He was a critical outfield, a solid contact hitter, and uh, he did miss two weeks in May because of COVID, but he still you know, came back and he was slashing. He was hitting about 250, 251. He had about four home runs, 12 RBIs, 11 runs scored, four or five stolen bases, so he was doing the things, and he was playing a solid outfield, but unfortunately just never got an opportunity at the major league level, so I'm not exactly sure what the Yankees are planning for the outfield. I mean, obviously, they're you know they're trying to play Gallo and Hicks as much as they can with hopes that they regain either their trade value or whatever, or just help the team more. But uh, I thought Ender they could have been an, a valuable outfield piece one way or another with his speed and his defense. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. And uh, it seems like they're really being selective. So my guess is if they do acquire somebody at the deadline, it's going to be a very particular small group of players. And, um, and we've talked about these guys already, but this one's not that surprising. I'm not exactly sure if he asked for it or they just released him to give him an opportunity elsewhere, but he will get picked up by another team as a free agent at the major league level, somebody who might need an outfielder. You know, reliable player. It's not going to cost a ton. You know, I would have thought he would have had, he would have been called up at this point already, but it hasn't happened. And again, there are still guys ahead of him like Tim LaCastro and even Esteban Floreal to a degree. And um, Miguel Andujar, but he's, I think he'll be traded at some point as well. But this is the news right now. And uh, they've moved on from Ender and Ciarte, so he's no longer an option for the Yankees for the outfield. And uh, it is what it is. So that's the news right now. I wanted to get it to you. I will see you tonight for the recap. Over and out.